Rishi said, When the great lord of Asuras was slain there by the Devi, Indra and other Devas led by Agni, with their object fulfilled and their cheerful faces illumining the quarters, praised her, Katyayani. O Devi, you who remove the sufferings of your supplicants, be gracious. Be propitious, O Mother of the whole world. Be gracious, O Mother of the universe. Protect the universe. You are, O Devi, the ruler of all that is moving and unmoving. You are the sole substratum of the world because you subsist in the form of the earth. By you, who exist in the shape of water, all this universe is gratified, O Devi of inviolable valor. You are the power of Vishnu, the endless valor. You are the primeval Maya, which is the source of the universe. By you, all this universe has been thrown into an illusion, O Devi. If you become gracious, you become the cause of final emancipation in this world. All lords are your aspects, O Devi. So are all women in the world, endowed with various attributes. By you alone, the mother, this world is filled. What praise can there be for you who are of the nature of primary and secondary expression regarding objects worthy of praise? When you have been lauded as the embodiment of all beings, the Devi, the effulgent one, and bestower of the enjoyment and liberation, what words, however excellent, can praise you? Salutation be to you, O Devi Narayani, O you who abide as intelligence in the hearts of all creatures and bestow enjoyment and liberation. Salutation be to you, O Narayani, O you who, in the form of minutes, moments, and other divisions of time, bring about change in things and have thus the power to destroy the universe. Salutation be to you, O Narayani, O you who are the good of all good, O auspicious Devi, who accomplish every object, the giver of refuge, O three-eyed Gauri. Salutation be to you, O Narayani, you who have the power of creation, sustentation and destruction, and are eternal. You are the substratum, and embodiment of the three gunas. Salutation be to you, O Narayani, O you who are intent on saving the dejected and distressed that take refuge under you. O you, Devi, who remove the sufferings of all. Salutation be to you, O Narayani, O you who ride in the heavenly chariot yoked with swans, and assume the form of Brahmani, O Devi, who sprinkle water with Kusha grass. Salutation be to you, O Narayani, O you who bear the trident, the moon, and the serpent, and ride a big bull, and have the form of Maheshwari. Salutation be to you, O Narayani, O you who are attended by peacock and cock, and bear a great spear. O you who are sinless, and take the form of Kaumari. Salutation be to you, O Narayani. O you who hold the great weapons of conch, discus, club, and bow, and take the form of Vaishnavi. Be gracious. Salutation be to you, O Narayani. O you who grasp a huge formidable discus and uplift the earth with thy tusk, O auspicious Devi, who take a boar-like form. Salutation be to you, O Narayani, 
You who, in the fierce form of a man-lion, put forth your efforts to slay the Daichas. O oh, you who possess the benevolence of saving the three worlds. Salutation be to you, O oh Narayani. You who have a diadem and a great thunderbolt are dazzling with a thousand eyes and took away the life of Vritra, O oh Aindri. Salutation be to you, O oh Narayani. O oh, you who in the form of Shiva Duti slew the mighty hosts of the Daichas, O oh, you of terrible form and loud throat. Salutation be to you, O oh Narayani, O oh, you who have a face terrible with tusks and are adorned with a garland of heads, O oh Cha Munda, O oh Slayer of Munda. Salutation be to you, O Narayani. O you who are good fortune, modesty, great wisdom, faith, nourishment, and svadha. O you who are immovable, O you great night and great illusion. Salutation be to you, O Narayani. O you who are intelligence and Saraswati. O best one, prosperity. Consort of Vishnu, Dark One, Nature, be propitious. O Queen of all, you who exist in the form of all and possess every might, save us from error, O Devi. Salutation be to you, O Devi Durga. May this benign countenance of yours, adorned with three eyes, protect us from all fears. Salutation be to you, O Katyayani. Terrible with flames, exceedingly sharp, destroyer of all the Asuras, may your trident guard us from fear. Salutation be to you, O Bhadrakali. May your bell that fills the world with its ringing and destroys the prowess of the Daityas guard us, O Devi, as a mother protects her children from all evils. May your sword, smeared with the mire-like blood and fat of Asuras and gleaming with rays, be for our welfare. O Chandika, we bow to you. When satisfied, you destroy all illness. But when wrathful, you frustrate all the longed-for desires. No calamity befalls men who have sought you. Those who have sought you become verily a refuge of others. This slaughter that you, O Devi, multiplying your own form into many, have now wrought on the great Asuras who hate righteousness, O Ambika, which other goddess can do that work? Who is there except you in the sciences, in the scriptures, and in the Vedic sayings that light the lamp of discrimination? Still, you cause this universe to whirl about again and again within the dense darkness of the depths of attachment. Where rakshasas and snakes of virulent poison are, where foxes and hosts of robbers exist, where forest conflagration occur, there and in the mid-sea you stand and save the world. O Queen of the Universe, you protect the universe. As the Self of the universe, you support the universe. You are the Goddess worthy to be adored by the Lord of the universe. Those who bow in devotion to you themselves become the refuge of the universe. O Devi, be pleased and protect us always from fear of foes, as you have done just now by the slaughter of Asuras, and destroy quickly the sins of all worlds and the great calamities which have sprung from the maturing of evil portents. O Devi, you who remove the afflictions of the universe, be gracious to us who have bowed to you. O you, worthy
worthy to be adored by the dwellers of the three worlds. Be boon giver to the worlds. The Devi said, O Devas, I am prepared to bestow a boon. Choose whatever boon you desire in your mind for the welfare of the world. I shall grant it. The Devas said, O Queen of all, in this same manner you must destroy all our enemies and all the afflictions of the three worlds. The Devi said, When the twenty-eighth age has arrived during the period of Vaivasvata Manu, two other great Asuras, Shumba and Nushumba, will be born. Then, born from the womb of Yashoda, in the home of cowherd Nanda, and dwelling on the Vindhya mountains, I will destroy them both. And again, having incarnated in a very terrible form on the earth, I shall slay the Dhanavas, who are the descendants of Vipracitti. When I shall devour the fierce and great Asuras descended from Vipracitti, my teeth shall become red like the flower of pomegranate. Therefore, when Devas in heaven and men on the earth praise me, shall always talk of me as the red-toothed. And again, when rain shall fail for a period of hundred years, propitiated by the Munis, I shall be born on the drought-ridden earth, but not womb-begotten. Then I shall behold the Munis with a hundred eyes, and so mankind shall glorify me as the hundred-eyed. At that time, O Devas, I shall maintain the whole world with life-sustaining vegetables, born out of my own cosmic body, till rain set in. I shall be famed on the earth, then, as Shakambhari. At that very period I shall slay the great Asura named Durgama. Thereby I shall have the celebrated name of Durga Devi. And again, assuming a terrible form on the mountain Himalaya, I shall destroy the Rakshasas for the protection of the Munis. Then all the Munis, bowing their bodies reverently, shall praise me, and therefore I shall have the celebrated name of Bhima Devi. When the Asura named Aruna shall work great havoc in the three worlds, having taken a collective bee form consisting of innumerable Vs, I shall slay the great Asura for the good of the world. And then people shall laud me everywhere as Brahmari. Thus, whenever trouble arises due to the advent of the Dhanavas, I shall incarnate and destroy the foes. Here ends the eleventh chapter, called Hymn to Narayani, of the Devi Mahatmya in Markandeya Purana during the period of Savarni, the Manu.